Hey everybody, Curseus here, and now today in Total War Battles Kingdom, I am going to explain crafting. Uh, now, crafting, you craft specifically, I'm going to show you, weapons, armor, metals, and ranged weapons for your troops. Now, of course, what you craft, you know, depends on the troop you're getting, you, what you want to give to the troop. Now, for instance, like you can only give shields to long, long sword knights, swordsmen. Um, where are they? Um, knights, cavalry, axemen, any unit that aesthetically has a shield with it. Okay. And of course, you can only give ranged weapons to, you know, bowmen, crossbows. Composite bows, um, spear throwers, units like those. Uh, right now, though, as it stands, ballistas and siege weapons don't have anything you can craft for. Metals can be given and crafted and given to all units, except for um, ballistas and the trebuchet. Oops, let me put that back. Okay. Now, how you craft... Well, first, before you get into the actual how, well, actually, this is kind of the how, you first need crafting material. You get crafting material from sheep, cows, and coal deposits on the map. Of course, you, you already should already know mostly about all that stuff, so I don't have to explain it. Now, when you want to craft, you need to select a blacksmith and specifically select a blacksmith that has all craftsmen in it so that way the the crafting time is actually cut in half because it'll take 24 hours with just you know not not with all craftsmen in it <laughs> now you select the blacksmith you want to craft from you hit craft now i already have a craft on the way here which is armor which at the moment is possibly just going to be plus two armor uh, armor itself only in, armor and shields de increase the raw defense value of the unit you're giving it to weapons and range weapons increase the attack and range attack values of the troop you're giving them to now when you're going to craft your item you're going to select what you want to craft now you can either craft the you know, just the weapons or armor, or you can craft the equipment necessary to hire a specific troop, like axemen, macemen, or a new trebuchet, or a mangonel, or for javelin throwers, composite bows, and crossbows. So you can choose to craft all that if you want, but those are very expensive, take over a hundred, a hundred, um, crafting material at a time now when you come back to the crafting screen you will see at the bottom once you get to this screen the option for normal crafting or master crafting you're always going to want to select master crafting master crafting will um, take up 62 62 or 64 crafting material at a time but it is guaranteed to succeed if you choose normal crafting there is a chance that it will fail, and instead of the little blue progress bar you see, you'll get a half of that, and it'll be a little red progress bar, which was a, a crafting failure. Now, the green cro uh, progress bar here is a successful master crafting, like a, like a critical craft crafting, which takes up like two. Which it, it does. It takes up two regular crafting sessions so like this is this is one crafting session right here and it's basically the equivalent of two crafting sessions in one so that's why you always want to master craft because the master craft has the highest chance of getting this this double craft here and what the value of the item or what it's worth to the unit will be determined where your progress sits at the end on the right on the right side here if the progress bar is touching right here on this line, 
then it's going to be plus two. If it's touching this line, plus four, and if it's touching this line, plus six. There is no extra value if you actually get it filled all the way. It's just, you know, it's either plus two, plus four, or plus six. Same thing goes for weapons. They're, the values you can get are plus two, plus four, or plus six. Metals, which actually I am going to stress that metals are actually one of the most important things to craft early on because you want to craft the the St. George medal, which gives all your troops extra experience, 10% more, actually. So make sure you craft all those, like, early on. If you're, like, way early in the game, you want to craft those. Because they're really cheap to craft, and you can craft, mul like, you don't, like, craft a quality of metals. You actually craft multiples of them. So if you have, like, a really good crafting set, you can get, like, two, two St. George medals, four St. George medals, six St. George medals. You can get a whole bunch of them so, uh, out of one successful craft. Um, I hope that explains the crafting system because that, that's pretty much all I've got for that. So always just make sure do master crafting, get the uh, you know get the equipment you want, and I guess the only other thing I can say is like depending on the unit that you're crafting for, will depend on what you should be crafting for them. Like, for instance, if you're crafting for spearmen, you should already be using the spear wall, at least in my opinion. So you'll want to craft the spears. Like, I got lucky. I got a perfect spear on this one, which is plus six to his attack value. Because while the spear wall is active, you know, the spearmen can really chop down any one enemy unit really good. So... Like, but if you're crafting for like your long sword knights or your swordsmen, you want to like craft them the armor first. Like the damage items really don't matter if they can't take the hits from the enemies, uh, like axemen or anything or any tough units like cavalry. So, so that's pretty much it. That would be like the, ex the advice I have there. So I hope this uh, explained a lot to you guys who play this game. And if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe below. And leave a comment below, too. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.